What's going on guys? It's your boy Zitan back with another video and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install LCPDFR again and I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to downgrade again for 2023 and 2024 since they have dropped new updates and uh, yeah let's get right into it. So uh, yeah first thing you guys want to do is go ahead and get you a downloaded copy of the game so in this case I am 97% done downloading it and um I know there's a lot of issues in the other ones. Um, I'm going to try and cover a little bit of all, damn near all of them. I'm going to try and cover on all the issues. So the first one is if you're downloading a downgrader or anything, make sure you guys have the uh, your antivirus turned off because that will prevent you guys from downloading or it'll tell you guys it has a virus. If it has a virus and you guys don't want to download it, then don't downgrade. Simple as that. Um, you know, there's no way to go about not having it say there's a virus it's lcpdfr if you don't trust it you know it is what it is but once you guys got that turned off you guys shouldn't have no problems with uh launching games if it says that you had an error and when it start try and run it as administrator because sometimes that can make a difference and actually allow the game to launch um yeah so once we get installed here i will show you guys the next steps Alright guys, so after you guys have that done, what you guys want to do, you guys are going to want to go ahead and right click and go to uh, manage and go to uh, browse local files. Once you guys have browsed the local files, you guys just want to go ahead and make sure it's a clean copy. There's no extras. As you can see, there's LCPDFR and a bunch of other shit. So if you guys do open your game and you see stuff like this, what you guys want to do is go here, right click, manage, or properties, I mean, sorry. Uh, local and verify While I'm at it, I'm gonna just go ahead and uninstall this too And that is how you guys uninstall LCPDFR if you don't know so if you guys do see that in there just click it and uninstall it Pretty much what I would do if I was you is delete anything that's um, modified. So in this case, I know all this is. Like a lot of this is just, you damn near could just remove it all, but that's just a lot. And then once this is done, I'll be back. All right guys, so once you guys have this actually done and it's verified, you guys wanna go browse local files once you guys open this up, as you guys will see, this is how it should look. So, yes, once you guys have this, you guys can go ahead and close this, and you can just close Steam for now. Go ahead and open up, and there will be a link in the description to this website. And this website, you'll just, it'll look like this when you first load it. You'll scroll down, get, obviously, the requirements, you know, make sure you get those. So, make sure you download this. I already know I have this because... I played the game before so I know I have it already so make sure you guys grab that if you guys don't and then go ahead and make your way and download this right here and then once you guys have that done you guys can just go ahead and drag this to the desktop extract this and like I said before make sure you guys turn your vir like virus protections off all that type of shit so you guys don't have to worry about it popping up and not bringing one of these things up or anything along those lines so you go ahead and open the downgrader if the downgrader has problems you can run it as an administrator and it should just launch with no problems Let me go ahead and close this gonna go ahead and receive, uh, retrieve the info we're gonna wait hit next now this is gonna ask for your GTA 4 directory so hit browse now in this case I already have it but if it's not here you go steam steam apps common grand theft auto 4 GTA 4 once you guys see this just go ahead and hit select and you'll say valid directory you hit next and right here it should be green there should not it should not be yellow 
if for whatever reason it is yellow and says there's an issue with the hash anything you guys still have a corrupted file of the game or there's something modified about it there's something done to it so hit next once it's green new location we're not going to do that today um right here uh this is the recommended um but right here as you guys can see this is for asi mods and great performance but if you want lcpdfr you have to do 1.070 and hit next now this right here is what i was showing off on the online uh video i made and i actually found out that towards the end of it you actually have to have the code you have to pay for it or you have to have a, um, a file you have to find it somehow some shape or form so go ahead and hit next and you want to hit radio downgrade downgrader by schneed and do the old one and hit next and right here this is the most important you guys want to make sure you get the z menu zalika patch x live and um we'll do script hook for 1.070 and i'll be it hit next no backup and just hit downgrade and i'll be back once it's done all right guys so as you guys can tell it is finished everything was successful you guys are going to go ahead and hit next right here um this is for save file downgrading um i don't do anything with this the um locating saves or anything but um you should see this and these are your saves okay so this is how you would find your um game saves and all that type of jazz so if you guys want to play like on your actual saves and stuff um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and hit next um or actually no, I'm gonna go ahead and hit skip because I don't need save file downgrading. But if you wanna do um, that, you know, it's automated now. So just go ahead and hit skip. If you guys are doing it, you guys will hit next. I'm not doing it. So right here, 
turn this on and uh windowed mode is probably the best but we're gonna see if it works now because there's been a few updates so it should work now once it says this do not 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 click this play gta iv hit exit go to your files this pc this program file 86 find the steam steam apps you guys find steam apps common grand theft auto gta 4 make sure everything you know modified and stuff and then what you guys want to do is you guys go ahead and start it now i know it's going to start but um just for this i will start it just to show you guys it launches up guys go ahead and hit start Once you guys are in here, you guys just want to hit Alt P. And as you guys can tell, right off rip LCPDFR into the nearest police station to go on duty. And as you guys can tell, it is up and running. So anybody who is having issues with the game, make sure you guys are following this video step by step. I mean, it can take the littlest missing something. Um, you know, a little click could fuck it all up. And it's just... you. It's a, it's a headache to go through when the shit fucks up, so it's just best to make sure that it's done as best as possible the first time, so then you don't have to deal with it. So yeah, if you guys did like the video and you guys want to see more videos like this on the channel, and you guys want to see more update to, updated videos for this year, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs so I can get to making some um, sort of money, so yeah. And I'm in the process of moving, so the delaying on the videos might be a thing for a little bit until I get moved in completely. But yeah, so I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.